to happen. This year, it is going to happen. We are making corned beef on the Big Green Egg, the most irresistible corned beef that's ever been made so we can catch the leprechaun. We've made our leprechaun trap. We've got it getting ready. We're gonna get a nice plate of some corned beef dinner and we are gonna get the burger today. That pot of gold is as good as mine. gonna like corned beef and cabbage. Why else would we make it on St. Patrick's Day? Okay, so we're gonna start with getting our corned beef in the pan. Potatoes. Couple onion. Cabos. Okay, now we're gonna wrap it and get it on the grill. So before we wrap it, we're gonna season it up. We gotta put some seasoning on it. We wanna get that leprechaun's interest and put some flavor into it here. Make it smell real good. Uh, we're using up what left we had with some classic steakhouse seasoning. And of course, we're gonna use some of Big Green Eggs Gourmet Seasoning. And, we're gonna put a little extra juice down in the bottom here, so throw a little bit of beef broth down in the bottom. Okay, right, now we're gonna wrap her up and get it on the grill. Well, if he doesn't need it all, I'm gonna have some. Okay, our grill is right where we want it. Let's get to cooking. Mm. <laughs> Alrighty, it's ready. Deep two. And it's heavy. Oh, good. So now we're going to get to give it a little taste test here. Uh, I've got our good friend Peter from True Value sitting with us. He's going to taste test everything with us today. Hey, it smells really good. It looks right. good, right? So uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes and how, how it is. Mm. Wow. It is good. Man, it is good. I've never had it like this before. It's no. incredible. It really tastes good. Real, you know, that from the grill, charcoal, and oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's um, try a little bite of one of the potatoes here. Mm. So, doing it that way, um, you know, on the grill like that, we kind of did mm. like a, a Dutch oven style, we wrapped it, let everything cook with the meat itself, right? So, you can taste in the potatoes that it's got the, the corned beef flavor and everything in it. And, 
came out really good. What spices you using this? I really didn't we used some big green egg spice yeah. and some steak seasoning with it, just a little bit extra, a little salt and pepper, pretty much. And and absolutely uh, incredible. I never would expect it. I mean, that's just a great good job. So unfortunately, we didn't catch leprechaun. Um, um, I think somebody else might have gotten into the trap and ate a little bit of something, but uh, we uh, we give it a shot next year. We're you know we're gonna refine this recipe a little bit. We'll definitely make it irresistible. Oh, oh my God! And that would be good. Oh we'll my God! Yeah. Pot of gold. Jeez, that'd you be know? right. Everybody can use that. <laughs> Sorry, Caleb, but it's impossible to catch me. Thank you so much, Peter, for coming and sitting with us and having lunch with us. We really appreciate your time. My pleasure. Um, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos. And we'll see you next time with the Backwoods Grill Monster. For our ride. Uh, That's off, uh, We're going to catch our leprechaun. Oh, what a killer.